Wintry weather has many school districts across the region with more days to make up than snow days reserved on their calendars. And that's forcing them to make some tough decisions. Six News reporter Erin Calandra spoke with school administrators in Belfont, and she's here with what they had to say. Erin? Jen, many districts have snow makeup days built into their calendars, but it's hard to predict how many of those makeup days they'll need. So now that we're in March, many schools are finding themselves pushing the last day of school further and further back in June, leaving graduation dates up in the air. It's business as usual Thursday for the Belfont area school district, something that hasn't been happening too often during this wicked winter. So far, they've had 10 two hour delays, three early dismissals, and six closures due to dangerous conditions. According to Superintendent Cheryl Pottinger, the decision to postpone or cancel school doesn't come easy. School superintendents and transportation directors from across the county start watching storms days in advance. The morning of, they all jump on a 5 a.m. conference call with other agencies like PennDOT and local municipalities to assess the road and sidewalk conditions. We always keep students and staff safety first, and that, that's a big concern. When school is disrupted, it may be fun and games for the kids, but for administrators and teachers, it's a logistic nightmare. Our elementary teachers will readjust their lesson plans and their schedules, and they'll have to move things. And parents say it's it's distracting for their children. It's hard to get them back on pace once they're off and come back. But we live in Pennsylvania and nobody can control the weather, so officials plan ahead. Adding snow makeup days to the calendar, Belfont has two, which means as of today, they'll be adding on four days in June, leaving them scrambling to figure out graduation. If it goes too far into the middle of June, we have students that are graduating that are committed to the armed services to early schooling for post-secondary. So right now they're making sure all graduating seniors have their required hours in rather than days. If so, the school board is expected to make their decision on freezing a graduation date. School officials tell me that these calendar issues are coming up more frequently here in central Pennsylvania, but they say, believe it or not, last year they had more snow days to make up than they have so far this year, and they hope it stays that way. Live in State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.